everyone welcome back if you do not know my name is Devin here on my channel I cover all things beauty that includes makeup fragrance and designer here and there if you think that is something you'll be interested in then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload in today's video I am going to be filming my very last empties for the month in this room so if you guys want to see what I have emptied in the last month and a half, then just keep watching. As I stated, this is going to be my last em empties video in this setup. We are moving and I need to get this stuff thrown and recycled and just out of the way because it's keeping up like it's keeping up space. Um, I have a couple things in here that I that are not empty yet but are going to be empty by the time we leave and I'm not going to be carrying garbage with me to show you for next month. So I'm going ahead and show you guys now so I'll get those couple of things out the way. So the first thing is this Baby Dove Sensitive Skin Hyaluronic Wash. This is what I wash, use on um, Baby Girl. Even though she's a toddler, I still be using this type of sensitive body wash. Still good, but I did just kind of want to get her like a big girl wash. So that is almost done. Um, something else that is almost done is by Amina. And this is the You Melt My Heart Sugar Polish. And it looks like this. I literally just took it out the shower. Um, I have like one or two more uses of this and that will be gone. So it's that then we have the bath and body works cloud nine cleansing body mousse i use this as a shave gel and it is definitely almost done probably like two more good shaves and i'll be good product is by natra mothers naturals and this is a shampoo and conditioner this is a sicilian blood orange and black currant shampoo and conditioner it's supposed to smooth and soften the hair um, I don't like this. I find that it kind of dries my hair out and I just, I don't really like it. So I don't know. It's something about this that is weird, but it is like down to here on both bottles and the kids, um, and my husband will be washing it here. So this will be done. Last thing that is almost empty is by Dossier or Dossier, however it's pronounced. And this is a fragrance called Musky Oak Moss. And it looks like this. This is my husband's. This was supposed to be a dupe for, I think, the original Creed. I think it kind of went bad. Or like the top got this like weird smell to it but he said it still smells fine to him and he literally has like a tad bit left so he's going to be using this up before we go because we're not taking this bottle with us so those are all the things that we are almost done with now we're gonna go ahead and get to the stuff that is garden is the blueberry donut and it looks like this sorry about the lighting it's just it's, it's not doing but i promise it's gonna be better lighting so excuse that so this is a fresh blueberries warm glazed donut in a hint of cinnamon this smelled nice everyone like this it's blueberry it's a blueberry donut that's exactly what it smells like so everyone love this Next hand soap is a boardwalk vanilla cone. This is marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. This is in the gentle gel hand soap. This was nice. Wasn't doing too much. I actually like the gel soap more than I thought I was going to. I enjoy that scent a lot. I think it's another one of those in here. It is. It is treat yourself. And this is the boardwalk vanilla cone as well. So I love this scent. I pick it up several times throughout the year. This is pink peach blossom. Um, this is peach nectar, magnolia petals, and mandarin. I just purchased, I just repurchased this and did a Bath and Body Works haul. And it had some soaps in it and has this in a really cute packaging because I love that soap. And I think that was my very last one. And this is strawberry pound cake. Um, this is fresh strawberries, golden short caked whipped cream. Y'all already know she is in every last one of my empties because we love her. This one is kitchen lemon in Honolulu Sun. This is zesty lemon, island coconut, and driftwood. This was the one that came out during summer SAS. 
this was nice it kind of remind me of lemon mixed with some suntan lotion so i liked that that was a really good kitchen scent this one is a watermelon mojito this is watermelon soda pink rum and cane sugar i wish i would have purchased more of this one because this one was a really really nice scent smelled super super yummy fresh love that this was wild berry lemonade i think i have one more left this is old fashioned lemonade crushed raspberries and frozen cherries smelled amazing like i wish i would have got more i'm stocking up next sas on scents like that because they're hard to come by this was white tea and sage and pineapple mango um this is also the mashup from the summer sas pineapple juice sweet mango fresh tea this was really nice i liked it way more than i would because i wasn't sure about that white tea and sage note but it was really really nice um pineapple mango is always a go all right then this very last hand soap is going to be a sweet strawberry scoop and it looks like that and this is sugared pink strawberries and vanilla bean ice cream this smelled amazing i actually have this one in my bathroom right now so we probably will go through that one also before we move um i have one candle i really was trying to burn more candles but i just didn't i just hadn't had time i just i, I just did not okay so the only candle i have in here is the lemon shello and unicorn sprinkles from the mashup collection this year pink raspberries tangy serrato lemons and fresh sugar cane this was so good um i actually like this way more than i initially thought um i think this was a fan favorite and sold out pretty fast so i thoroughly enjoyed that couple body care items now obviously this is not going to include my project use it up i haven't decided if i'm going to take all those products with me or if i'm just going to do a update here and then an update when i get there with the products i have left this is going to be baby girls these are the raw shirt kids bubble bath and body wash so i she used up two this is pineapple orange and this one is strawberry vanilla and these are made with plant derived ingredients free of sulfates and parabens and they are vegan so actually these are pretty decent um body washes and she really enjoyed them and they look really really cute i have since purchased um a couple more to take with us and I actually just recently got some of the lotions. Well, my mom bought these for her. Got her some of the lotions. And this is the avocado and green apple. And this one is watermelon and strawberry. So she's going to love these. So those will get packed. They just sit down my dresser. Then the boys went through a after dark spiced bergamot, amber, and smooth tonka amazing and they also went through a mahogany coconut which was any notes on here this says a creamy woodsy fragrance inspired by classic mahogany with a tropical twist so these smelled amazing and this one actually smelled really good um they both smell really really good so they went through those and then i have a tree hut vitamin c this is the brightening and toning one. I like the Tree Hut body washes, but I don't love this one. This one really didn't smell like anything. So, I mean, it was okay. If you want something that doesn't really have a smell, it doesn't really do too much, this was nice. And then I went through a old Bath and Body Works pear berry. This is from um, maybe a couple years ago. Oh, 2020. So that's when this one. And this has pear, wild berries, apple blossom, golden freesia, and blonde woods. And it was okay. I like to mix that with different scents. Um, I actually went through the Inspire Joy Juniper and Sage Aromatherapy um, Shower Steamers. I love the shower steamers. They are so nice. Husband went through a After Dark. This is just the body mist. So he went through that. 
He also went through a cologne, which this is by Michael Malou, and this is Citizen Jack Absolute. Y'all, this smells amazing. So good, so sexy. He purchased this when we were in Las Vegas last year. We went to Vegas, um, and he just recently finished this up. This smells absolutely amazing on him. This is such a nice, sexy scent. Um, but this is really, really good. I do, I have seen it online. Um, but he got a really good price for this one because I think it's normally like one something. But this smells, this smells amazing. Like it's so sexy. I used to love when he wore this. And then he also finished up a mini of the Kaali The Wedding Velvet Centel. This is the mini. Um, I had bought a couple travel size minis for him and for me and then to give away. Um, and also congratulate congratulations to the winner, Jasmine. She won. I've already sent her her package. She got it. She loves everything. So thank you so much, Jasmine, for entering my giveaway. But um, yeah, so he loved this. And he flew through this bottle. I'm really afraid that he's going to fly through the full size bottle because he has been using it up. So I may just purchase him another travel size to like keep in a car or something like that. Um, I have two of the mini Sol de Janeiro bum bum creams. These are two of the minis. I finished both of these up. I finished up one pocket bag, which I'm surprised, but I have been switching them out a lot this, this past month. This is Life is Sweet Pink Bubblegum. This was from last year, so love that. Full makeup products and lip products. So first thing I finished up is this very old ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. So that's actually what I have on my face today and I really, really like this even for my oily skin. Um, I am in the shade Medium Dark 14W. Now the lighting is sucking right now, but it looks, it matches perfectly on my skin. It looks very natural. It's good, so I could totally see myself repurchasing this. Um, it's very, very lightweight, so love that finished up a concealer this is the kaja concealer don't settle this is 07 i'm actually almost done with 08 also i have been scraping the sides i don't even know if you can see so this is practically going to be gone so i'm going to be tossing that when i'm done with all of this i also have a um, Bad and Body Works Mango Mai Tai finished up that little gloss because y'all know I love that. Finished up a mini of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is the vanilla one. I didn't love the scent of this one. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite. Finished up a mini Burberry. This is just the original. I just empty that into a um a decanter and I take it with me. And then I also finished up the Jaclyn Hill Bronze Pop Lip oil um i recently did a haul and i am done with this baby already because i use this all the time like every single day so yeah and these are going to be on sale for the 21 days of beauty definitely going to be picking up some here with you guys before we go is the smarty pants organic vegan vegetarian um vitamins for the kids the little one has been using this one um it's really really good it doesn't have any of those harsh like ingredients it's no gelatin and all of that it's no soy synthetic colors artificial flavors and all that stuff so um baby girl loves these and i have been getting them from target so yeah that's it so yeah that is it that is everything that i have finished within the last month you guys enjoy it and stay tuned because my next month empties will be in a brand new area that i'm excited to start decorating so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in another video bye